hello again. I'm coming nearly to the end of my working day. I've got a wheelbarrow full of beautiful greens. What am I to do? This is Margie Hare from Nature Health. And I'm just going to just take you on a little journey with me into my compost heap. And why shouldn't a compost heap have a beautiful, beautiful cover? So we just lift the cover and underneath there are all these beautiful greens that I had from the grass last week. And I'm just going to add some chicken manure because once you have the greens, you need chicken manure. Put the chicken manure on. Here on the property, we do not have mains water. So this is all beautiful water from heaven. So I'm just hand watering onto the compost heap. So it's vital that a compost heap doesn't dry out because the worms and the organisms cannot do their job. So it's very important that we keep the compost heap nice and moist. So we water it in. You know, some days I come out here and there's Roxy sitting right in the middle of the compost heap on this eiderdown because you know why? It's yummy and warm because the compost starting to break down and the heat's coming up and she just loves it there. What do we do to activate a compost heap? We absolutely need greens. All these fabulous greens I'm just going to toss onto my compost heap. And they, they'll just break down to what I call beautiful gold the soil turns black and what's on here is just all the garden waste all the clippings from my posies i don't waste anything in my garden nothing at all there's a lot of conjecture about what to do with lime so i use lime frugally it is very important and adds a lot of additional things it helps break down but it also balances the pH so that's enough for this stage of the compost what I've added in there it is going to break down but what have I got growing in my garden that are compost activators comfrey I'm going to pick a bunch of comfrey leaves throw it on the top I'm going to pick a bunch of valerian and throw it on the top. And the third one that is fabulous is uh, also tansy, which I have growing in the garden. These are the valerian leaves. So I'm just going to toss those, sprinkle them around. They're fabulous. My um, tansy is a little bit young. It's a tiny little leaf. There wasn't enough of that to pick. But this is the comfy leaf, a fabulous prickly leaf full of nutrients but one of its greatest attributes is it breaks down what i use it for medicinally is um poultices fabulous for a hot poultice if you've got a strain or a broken arm or broken leg it is just fabulous so what happens now i'm just going to make sure this is just all leveled down we don't want too much In an earlier video, we emptied the worm tea, which when we are feeding the plants, we dilute 10 to 1. When we are using worm tea to activate a compost, we use it undiluted completely. So this is worm tea undiluted. I'm going to just throw on last of all. So now I'm just going to sprinkle the blood and bone. And now the worm tea goes on. And now I put my compost heap to sleep for another day. 
it's got a special place in the garden and I make sure I tuck it in nice and tight all the way around. I want it to feel nice and warm. I want it to start breaking down. I told you Roxy loves it up here. Thank you Rox. So here we are. I'm at the end of the day. My wheelbarrow's empty. My compost heap is full. And by the time spring comes, I'll have this beautiful, beautiful, I call it golden soil that's going to nourish all my plants. So I have a fabulous crop for the summer. So if that was helpful, if you've got any questions about compost heaps, just pop them in the section below. And if you liked it, tick the like button. And if you would like more on organic gardening, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you would like to pop on my website and click on the shop, you'll be able to order the um, organic gardening ebooks. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy gardening. <laughs>